Good morning, everyone, and uh, I'm coming to you from Port Jefferson, New York. Uh, we arrived here yesterday from Mystic, Connecticut. Uh, it was a, an interesting cruise here, and it was 68 miles across the uh, Long Island Sound, and it was perfectly calm. It was uh, at a lot of places the water was just glass still, uh, but it was a good cruising day. It was warm, hot actually, but uh, we did okay. We got into uh, Port Jefferson about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, and we're at a mooring ball. We're going to be here three full days. We'll leave on Friday. Uh, and then from there, we're going to we're, From here on Friday, we're going to head up to Norwalk for two full days, and then on to Capri Marina in uh, Manhasset Bay. We'll be there five full days. Uh, that's going to be our jumping off point for us to go into New York City and to, and to enjoy that. I just wanted to give you a short video and uh, talk to you just a little bit about uh, what's been happening with this cruising season so far. I appreciate you all following it on you, uh, YouTube and Facebook and commenting and, and, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, a lot of work goes into those as I'm sure you probably can guess and uh, I appreciate your feedback. I uh, just want to give you a quick update on things. First of all, the boat's been running really, really excellent. We haven't had any major work that needed to be done to it at all. A technician has not been on board the boat at all this season. Uh, I've had to do a few things downstairs, uh, down in the engine room, but, uh, you know, uh, every new thing I learn how to do uh, makes me just that better, that much better. So uh, it's been a... Uh, a, a good cruising season from an engineering perspective. Both been running great. Lisa and I are doing fabulous. Uh, uh, we've both been healthy, and we've uh, we could use a little more rest every now and then, but otherwise we're doing fine. Um, statistics. People like statistics. This is right off of my Excel uh, spreadsheet. And then if you uh, think that I do a lot of planning, uh, like for instance, I had this entire cruising season planned way back in March. Uh, you should see my log. Uh, it's a it's a massive Excel spreadsheet monstrosity, but it's fun. So anyway, here's the statistics. We have traveled a total of 1,672 statute miles so far. My estimate was going to be around 1,900 to 2,000, so I think we're right on the mark with that. We're, we're going to fall right into where that's going to be. Uh, we've had a total of 215 engine hours. Our speed average is 7.7 .7 statute miles per hour. We operate in statute, not nautical, because we're mostly inland, and inland is mostly statute. Um, and particularly since we're going to be in the Great Lakes, that's all statute up there. So we just operate on statute miles per hour. 7.7 .7 statute miles per hour, which is right in the wheelhouse of what this uh, boat has historically been able to do. Uh, we run at about 1900 RPM at uh, flank speed, and uh, that produces that kind of mileage. Uh, I can cut it down to 15 or 1600 and uh, that drops, uh, standard mile per hour drops, but uh, fuel economy improves. Speaking of fuel economy, we're using a hair over three gallons per hour. That includes generator usage and that's right in the ballpark too. Uh, we've had 33 days of motoring. Uh, we've been underway 33 days since May 1st. Uh, if you recall, we left Jacksonville, Florida on May 1st, and we've been out on the water on the boat for 33 days uh, during this time. Uh, this has been a very nice, um, relaxing cruising season for us, but aggressive in that we're going a pretty great distance north and south, and uh, we're going places we've never been before. Uh, I had pretty much... The, the link should be appearing right above me here, or already has, of uh, the link that you can go to watch the YouTube video of what it was, what the original float plan was, or the original cruise plan was. We've deviated from that a little bit, and <laughs> all of our uh, friends who think I'm a bit too anal about all my planning and sticking to my plans as much as possible and stuff like that, uh, you all can be proud of me that I've actually been flexible and uh, uh, ad-libbed along the way. Uh, it pretty much started in uh, Annapolis, I guess it was. We had not planned on going to Baltimore. We did. Uh, we spent, gosh, almost five days there. And uh, 
that you may recall there was an incident if you read my blog there was an incident where someone boarded our boat in the middle of the night we didn't have any other trouble after that that wasn't even really a trouble but uh, uh, Baltimore was a great stay then after that we went up into Delaware to head towards the uh, C&D Canal and we found out our good friends on Sariana were in Philadelphia where we visited them once before we headed up to Philadelphia too and spent uh, three four days uh, with our good friends Dick and Deanna and it was very enjoyable we had a great time uh, from there we went back to Delaware just for a night or two and then headed down Delaware Bay to New Jersey uh, just like everyone else that goes down that way, we went through Cape May, New Jersey, uh, which is normal. And then a lot of people who are heading north along the eastern coast from there go outside. They go out in the Atlantic Ocean from Cape May, and they head up to Atlantic City, then the whole township area, otherwise known as Manasquan, and that's all well and good. We decided to do something different, and we changed our course and our ideas, and we actually went up the New Jersey Intercoastal Waterway, and that's been uh, documented uh, in uh, a blog entry, which you'll find the link in the description uh, below, and I uh, hope you'll read that. Uh, a lot of people thought that was very interesting. Then after that, we came up into New York Harbor and went on Long Island Sound. Uh, the, the big thing that was the challenge about that, getting in through the harbor was not a big deal, but getting up the East River past the United Nations building and, uh, uh, what's the Long Island? I can't remember. President's Island? Something like Oh, Roosevelt Island. Was that it was a, a horrendous thing. The water was incredibly choppy and we had too many vessels all in the same area at the same time. And uh, it was, it was, uh, I caught a little flack from people saying that, uh, uh, it was brutal, just brutal, and uh, it was. It was brutal, just brutal. It was, a, like I said, a horrendous experience. Uh, and then to top it off, those sport fishers on some of these big Viking sport fishers just plowed through and really upset everything. Anyway, we got out into Long Island Sound, and our first stop was uh, Capri Marina at Manhasset. From there, we went up to Norwalk Cove Marina in Norwalk, which was very enjoyable. Then after that, we spent the night, our objective was to spend the night anchored at the Thimble Islands, which is about halfway between Norwalk and Mystic on the northern shore, on the Connecticut shore of the Long Island Sound. Well, we got there and we did not particularly like the anchorage situation within the Thimble Islands. So we just kind of motored around to the little village there called Stony Creek. Uh, or and we actually were able to tie up to a mooring ball. We found out from a, a driver of a water taxi that the owner of that particular uh, mooring ball was gone and not going to be back and that people could use it if they pulled up. So we did and we spent a great night there. It was beautiful, it was lovely and then we went on and we spent a week at Mystic uh, where we uh, got better acquainted and had some very, very enjoyable moments with uh, Linda and Bob of uh, the, the vessel Erica Lynn and just enjoyed the heck out of their company and uh, uh, we enjoyed uh, Mystic very, very much. And then yesterday, as I said, we left Mystic for a 68 mile trip to here to Port Jefferson, which is on the Long Island side of the Long Island Sound. We had not intended on coming here. This was an audible. We heard it was a nice community and that there was a mooring field. And like I've said on many occasions, I'll never turn down a mooring field. And uh, so here we are, we're at Port Jefferson, and it's, uh, it's perfectly lovely, it's perfectly nice, and uh, we, we, we like it here a lot. And uh, we'll be here until Friday, where we'll take a very short, very short cruising day back up to Norwalk again. We're going to spend a couple more days at uh, Norwalk Cove, and uh, we liked that, we liked the people, we liked the situation, so we're going back. Then we're going back down to Capri again, to Man in, in Manhasset uh, Cove our bay, uh, where we're going to spend five days uh, exploring New York City, basically. Uh, that's how we're going to get into town and do that. I think I said that already, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, from there, we're going to do something that was a total audible on our part. Uh, remember me saying that we didn't like going up the East River past uh, Roosevelt Island, that it was a very disturbing um, experience for us. Well, Bob and Linda told us, well, why don't you go up the Harlem River? The Harlem River, I ask, and he showed me on the chart. It's the river that connects Hellgate uh, with the uh, Hudson River on the other side of uh, Manhattan Island. And uh, 
we're going to do that. It's not pretty. It's an industrial river. Uh, it's, it's, I have a sense it's going to look an awful lot like going through the sanitation canal south of, south of Chicago to get to the Illinois River from Lake Michigan. That's okay. It's a, it, we're only going to be on it for an hour or two or a couple hours. So that's fine with me. So, and then from there, we're going to resume normal operations and go up to uh, Haverstraw Bay and anchor out, and then go up to uh, Kingston, New York, and then Albany, New York, where we're going to stop for a few days, and then make our way up to the entrance to the Erie Canal, and then head west on the Erie Canal. Um, it's been a great trip. We've really, really enjoyed ourselves a lot. We've seen wonderful things, and we've done... Um, things that just have made us very very happy and uh, but again as it always is it's the people and uh, we, we got to spend time with a, a lot of our great friends oh and by the way let me backtrack to New Jersey if you go into uh, this is a shameless plug for a marina if you go into Cape May go up the ICW there's plenty of water 3.6 miles until you get to the route 47 bridge and on the right side is schooner island marina it is a terrific marina it is a great fuel stop it's a great pump out stock there's plenty of depth uh, up there from the uh, main basin in cape may plenty of water and then now north of the bridge that's a different story but up to that point plenty of room and you can see captain tom stoker and and his crew there at the marina will take really good care of you. It's a terrific place, and it, it is a great provisioning stop. There is a grocery store literally two blocks from the marina. It's just incredibly convenient. And uh, so anyway, so that's my report on how things have been going. Things have been going fabulous. Uh, it's been a great cruising season. We figure we're gonna pull into Winter Harbor Marina in just a few days after Labor Day, and which is right on schedule and uh, um, you know, like I said, I get kidded a lot about all my advanced planning that I do. And uh, one, of the, one of the favorite sayings among boaters is, if you make a schedule, make sure you write it in pencil. Well, of course I do, because changes always get made. It's really not a matter of not being flexible. It's just a really matter of setting priorities and then adapting and changing as you go along, and because you, you want to. And uh, we did a lot of that. But uh, I had to go buy a new eraser because I wore out my eraser. So anyway, so it's been a, uh, a a great cruising season. I just wanted to give you this little face-to-face -face, uh, uh, update. Uh, we're going to enjoy Point Jefferson here for several days. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave comments below. And make sure you watch more videos. That's really, really important to me that you check out other videos, such as the one that's going to be featured at the end of this video, uh, suggested videos. But go to the main page uh, of the uh, Why Not Great Lakes Grand Tour and the Onboard Life YouTube channel and please just watch a bunch of videos um, and, uh, and leave comments and like and subscribe and do all that kind of stuff and let's become friends on Facebook and all that uh, all that uh, all that rigmarole but it's important so anyway so uh, thanks for watching thanks for listening as I said if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I will respond to every single one of them that I read all right see you next time